Located in the heart of Europe, Switzerland is bordered on all sides. France to the west, Germany to the north, Austria to the east, and Italy to the south. It's well known for its fine chocolates, legendary cheese, and majestic mountains. I'm Colleen Kelly, and this is Family Travel. Welcome to Switzerland. Yodele hee On our journey through Switzerland, we're going to see how cheese is made, share fondue with friends, glide down a glacier, travel by train and by sky, and do as the locals do by enjoying our daily chocolate. Eins, zwei, drei, go! Woo! My name is Colleen Kelly, and when I was single, I lived abroad and traveled the world. Then I became a parent and wondered, how would I ever travel again? So I set out to find a new way to travel and get back to exploring the world family style. I'm here to guide you on how to get the most out of your family vacation. Pack your bags and join me, Colleen Kelly. We're going on vacation. Funding provided by... I am never getting married. We're never having kids. <laughs> we are never moving to the suburbs. We're never having another kid. I'm pregnant. I'm never letting go. For all the nevers in life, State Farm is there. Parents say travel is educational. Kids just think it's fun. It's gotten me up close to dinosaurs, sharks, even real rockets. And that's pretty awesome. Family travel equals family fun. City Pass. Resorts for the whole family. Holiday Inn Club Vacations. Switzerland. Breathtaking mountains and more than 450 varieties of cheese. My kind of place. We follow the cowbells to Arosa, where we find a chalet that has been producing alpine cheese for more than 40 years. Hello, everyone. Hi. 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 Wonderful day in the Swiss Alps. I want to welcome you to our cheese dairy, Alp Maran, and I uh, want to show you around so you see how we make the cheese. You may have already heard them. Let's see where our milk comes from. Okay. So cute. This is Switzerland. This is incredible. <laughs> so you live on a farm. What's the story with the bells? Well, the bells were used in the days before you had electric fencing so that they could find the cows when it was on a foggy day and they had to go and gather all the cows in or when the cows had wandered further afield where you can't see, you'd have to walk up and find it. And you can, you can listen and hear the bells in a distance. So oh. you can, yeah, the herds one would stand and listen. Oh, okay, over there, let's go and look. And they still do this today, Absolutely, though. I mean, it's very useful. The, the, the years when I worked on an Alp when I was younger, um, we had some foggy weather and we were missing six cows. So we had to go all the way back to find these cows and we heard them. I should put bells on my children so I can keep track of them better. Oh, I've been thinking about that for years. <laughs> now that we've met the cows, we move inside so we can get down to business how to make some delicious Alp cheese. Well, what type of cheese is that? A uh, semi hard uh, Alp cheese. Uh, it's uh, made only in summertime when uh, the cows are up on the Alps because they have a certain food there, only herbs, particular herbs, and no additions to the food whatsoever, and they give a particular taste to the cheese, and that's then our famous Alp cheese. So how the cheese tastes actually starts with how the cows, you know, eat the herbs then. Is that right? Yeah, it starts to taste. It starts with what the cows eat. So when can I eat this cheese here? Uh, well, you can eat this cheese in like three or four months, but it will be best in two or three years. Two years? Are you going to wait that long? <laughs> <laughs> I certainly don't want to wait that long. And luckily, we didn't have to. Our guide had prepared a wonderful assortment for us to try. And here we go. <gasps> oh, wow. that looks so good. Oh, that's beautiful. Ooh, does that look wow, good? Excellent. Look at that. <laughs> we try the cheese over some traditional pear bread, a specialty of the region. I went for the oldest Alp cheese first. So it's almost like a fine wine, the older the better, right? Exactly like yes. that. Excellent. I love this. This is my weakness. Cheese. <laughs> cheese and bread. Both of these together. Yeah, then you've come to the right place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna leave Switzerland. <laughs> what a great way to sit and relax with my new friends.
After our cheese course, the boys take me on a tour through the town. What better way to learn about the town of Arosa than through the eyes of two locals? Ready, guys? Yeah. All right, let's go. Show me the way. <laughs> we borrow scooters to get around. Definitely the best way to see Arosa. Are you competitive? Absolutely, I am. Let's race. OK. Are you ready? Eins, zwei, drei, go! <laughs> okay. All right, guys, you beat me. Hard on Good time, try. so let's go hit the town, okay? Yeah. Right. Nice try. Oh, <laughs> thank you. That's sweet. Switzerland is extremely bicycle friendly, encouraging visitors and locals to drive less and bike more. If you look over there, that's the place where they do a water and light show to music. Oh, I bet kids love that. Yeah, they do it three, three times a week. The whole town comes to watch it. That is awesome. I love that. So cool. So beautiful. <laughs> Ooh, it's fun too. Let's go. <laughs> I love seeing these sights. I just wish my girls were here too. Here's a souvenir shop. Oh, I'd love to pick up something for my girls, but you guys want to help me? Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's go in. The boys helped me pick out some cowbells to bring home. A perfect souvenir from the Swiss Alps. Probably a good idea so I can keep track of them. I like the noise. You might think because you're in Switzerland and it's in Europe that their currency is a euro, but it's actually Swiss francs. Riding around town, we sure worked up an appetite. I'm thinking it's time for some more cheese. We go behind the scenes and learn how to make the Swiss national dish. Fondue is incredibly popular in Switzerland. Families can buy it at the store and make it at home, or my favorite way to try it is at a local Swiss restaurant. We learn how to make fondue from a third-generation restaurateur. I'm Henry. We've been making fondue for ever that I can remember. And um, we we're going to prepare one for you right from the beginning. The word fondue comes from the French and literally means to melt. There are many varieties and recipes of fondue, but here in Switzerland, it's all about the cheese. The main thing is to use Swiss cheeses and use aged cheeses only. Fondue is an emulsion. You have to make a, a secure emulsion, which means the acidy parts and the other parts have to be in balance. Some recipes that you might read add lemon juice or, or sour ingredients into here. I think using a dry a very dry wine is completely sufficient. Fondue became popular in the 1930s and it's been a Swiss family favorite ever since. A few more family secret ingredients before topping off with a little nutmeg. Time to eat. And what to meet and enjoy this. Thank you very Thank you. much. Thank you. I'm looking forward to this all day. Okay. Thank you. Tom, you take some bread. Oh, doesn't it look good? Look in there. Put the pepper in. My new friends enjoy dipping cubes of white bread and fruit into the fondue. Smell that. Nice and creamy and cheesy and... So creamy and... <laughs> seasoning. Hot. <laughs> mm. It's not every day that you get to see how cheese is made and then eat it with every meal. But in Switzerland, cheese is part of everyday life. Isn't this lovely that we can sit down and have a fondue and all be together as a family? Mm -hmm. There's not many meals that you can sit and discuss while you're dipping in at the same time. It's nice to be able to hear about your day. The cheese is really good. You like it? Yeah. Which is your favorite part of the fondue, Tom? I like to dip. Be able to dip your bread in or your pear? I like 
the bread more. <laughs> I love the parts that you can just dip whatever you want and be a bit messy. <laughs> and it does make it quite look. There's a nice uh, crust forming on the bottom of here. I wonder who's going to fight for that. <laughs> Fondue is a long-standing tradition within the Swiss culture. Family and friends all dip and share from the same pot, encouraging conversation and fun. Remember, remember now the traditional uh, rule that we have. If you lose your bread, you have to kiss everybody in the room. <laughs> Everyone dip, dip in. We're going to uh, Pro Star Day of having such a successful day at the cheese manufacturers and then being able to eat it. Are you ready? Guten Abend. Guten Abend. Cheers. Cheers. It wasn't until the 1960s that fondue lovers were able to feed their sweet tooth with hot molten chocolate. Looks like the next table over is ready for dessert. Well, now we let the machine work. This is a nice dessert. After seeing all the cheese, it changes the palate from the salty to the sweet. Thank you. Thank you very much. You want this one, Emily? You want cake? Here you go. Mm. <laughs> chocolate fondue. We have a strong vote for chocolate fondue. My friends really enjoyed their lunch. I hope they saved some for me. When you can't walk or ride your bike, the next best thing is to take a train. The railroad system throughout Switzerland is convenient, reliable, and better for the environment. Riding these low-impact, energy-efficient trains is a great way to help preserve the gorgeous landscapes of the region. It's also nice to be able to focus on the views. Trains are a great way to get around Switzerland. Not only are the views absolutely stunning, I mean, look at this, but it's a great way to spend time with your family, time that you wouldn't have in a car. And what kid doesn't love a train? How fun is this? Hi, Martin. It's good to see you. Hi, Colleen. How are you? I'm fine, and you? Oh, I'm, I'm up here. This is breathtaking. It's gorgeous. You want to go over there? That would be better for you? Absolutely. Let's go. Come with me? Okay, yeah. The Swiss National Park is designated a UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Site a worldwide program that identifies, protects, and preserves sites that are considered to be of cultural and natural value to humanity. Well, this looks great. We're going to get a better view down here. Yeah, let's go. Do you ever get tired of this? Be careful. Woo! Tired of nature. <laughs> tired of glacier, never. So now that we have this incredible view, I mean, how, could you tell me how this was all formed? The glacier we have the Alaska is the biggest glacier, and the glacier, the glass, the, the glacier, that's snow, frozen snow. In winter, if snow is falling, then it's freezing, melting, freezing, melting. And after 10 years, we have from one meter of powder snow, one centimeter of ice, and now this mass is going on, moving down to the valley. It's uh -huh. a big, big mass. So I heard from some visitors that the glacier is melting more. What's the state of the glacier now, today? When the snow is falling, then in the years, it's melting, freezing, melting, freezing. And after 10 years, at an altitude of 300, 5,000 meters, for instance, and this mass is going down, moving down, like severely a plastic mass, like honey. And that's a glacier. It moves on an average 100 meters a year in, down there in, on the Alec Glacier. As a glacier guide, Martin's job is to safely navigate the glacier, as well as to educate visitors. The goal is that people will do what they can to help protect places like this. So when you come here as a family and see this beautiful glacier, you can find out how to protect the world and these, these sites, correct? You can protect it, it's a global warming. Everybody can do something, little things, little things, and a lot of little things are a big thing then, huh? Yeah, it all adds up. At the up, end, yeah. Doesn't it? It's important to preserve these sites. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. This was just incredible. Thank you. Just goodbye. Oh, with Oh, okay. That's how the Let's Swiss go. do it, right? That's how the Swiss do it. That's <laughs> <Okay>. a tradition. <laughs> Seeing those glaciers up close is simply breathtaking. Now that I've seen the mountains by land, it's time to see them by air. 
I want to get the best views possible of the Lech region, and I've been told it's through paragliding. I have to admit, I'm a little nervous, but this trip's about adventure, so I'm going to go for it. I meet my instructor for the flight, and he begins suiting me up. This is a man who clearly loves what he does, so he's able to put my mind at ease a little. You know, I've always wanted to fly, so you're like making a dream come true for me right now. It's very exciting. Yeah. A little nerve-wracking, but exciting. <laughs> It's also, for me, every flight a dream. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's so I'm nice. Thousands of flights, and every flight is special for me. Well, this one's going to be special for me. Okay. So I'm excited. A paraglider is a non-motorized, foot-launched, inflatable wing. The wind shape is held together by the suspension lines, which allow you to steer. We check all the lines and make sure they're clear and ready for takeoff. Okay, so why are we checking the lines? I check all the lines. You can see we have some knots. Oh, yeah, I don't and want to open all, and all is open, we are ready. Okay. It's very important. Uh, yes, and you uh, can check it twice uh, if you yeah. want. I'm good with that. Three times is good, too. Okay, two, two times is enough. <laughs> A couple more safety checks, and we're ready to take this tandem flight. Yeah, very important. Mm -hmm, Listen, mm -hmm. uh, I tell you, three, two, one, go. And after go, run, 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 run. Only this. And it just lifts me up. Yep. Okay. Don't sit down. Don't stop running. Don't stop running and don't sit down. Okay, I'm listening. Okay, I got okay. it. Yes. Okay. 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 All right. You ready? We're going. We're going to do it. This is the best, awesome, <laughs> most incredible views ever. Okay. Three, two, two one. one, go. Run, 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 run. Faster, 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 faster. Run, 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 Oh my God! <laughs> you, can, you can see all the little houses here. Yeah, and you can... Yeah. Flights can last up to two to three hours, traveling 25 miles per hour. This is as close as we can get to flying like a bird, soaring upwards on currents of air. Now it's time to come in for a landing. Woo! That's the way to see Switzerland, right? Yeah. That was gorgeous, unreal, unforgettable. I give you five. Woo! Thanks. Oh, awesome. Yes. Not as graceful of a landing as I would have hoped for, but it sure was an incredible experience. Maybe I should go back again and try to perfect my landing. Nah, there's so much more to do. Switzerland has a great diversity of landscapes and climates. Life in the Green Plateau is much different than up in the mountains, where you'll find snow all year round. We took three gondolas to reach the top of Mount Titlis. This is the highest I've ever been. You guys excited? Yes. <laughs> Hello, Hi. everybody. Hello. Welcome here on Titlis. This is a glacier, and we are on a height of 10,000 feet. You're going to take a snow tube. We're going to go there. You sit in, and I will push you down. So anybody has any questions? Yeah, me. How long is the way down? It's like 20 seconds, but it's a huge thrill because it's so fast you go down. It's a lot of fun. So who is ready to start? Me! Okay, let's go. Okay. Take a snow tube and let's go. Okay. This one's mine. This one's mine. <laughs> Taking this one. Who are my first three? <laughs> you? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Let's sit in. Whoa. <laughs> okay. And now you can, hold, you can hold each other's uh, snow tube. Okay. So we are all going together, okay? Oh my okay. gosh, okay. And you give me your... Whoa. Okay. Let's go. So let's go. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. We're going on. Let's go. Okay. Let's I'm ready for the ride of my life. Here we go. That was so 
cool and yeah. so fun, wasn't it? Yeah. I want to do it again and again and again. Yeah. Okay, you let's did. do it. Oh my gosh, was that awesome? Yeah! yeah. That was so fun. And that was the first time you've done this, yeah. right? Yeah. Because we're on a glacier, we can do this all year round. Yeah, you can even do it in the summer. Okay, how cool is that? Let's go again. Come yeah, on. Yeah. Let's go! This takes sledding to a whole new level. A few more rides down the glacier before heading back to our final and tastiest destination. You want to see the chocolate world? Uh, yeah. You bet. Of course, yeah. right? You want to have chocolate? Chocolate, Eli? Yeah. Yes. Now you can follow the footprints and enjoy the tour. Okay, all right, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Switzerland is one of the world's leading manufacturers of chocolate. Milk chocolate was invented here. Oh, cool. <gasps> Look at oh, that. Wow. Hmm. All right. This is neat. This is where it all begins. First, we touch, smell, and taste our way through the museum. Look at chalky. Yeah, it's chalky. And then you get it's all liquefied, and then you'll let it cool, and you can make it in all different types of things. Woo, should we pull this down? Did she try that? Put your hand under it. Oh, whoa, she got a lot. <laughs> <laughs> she got the jackpot. Throughout the world, Switzerland is known for their chocolate. And they also enjoy eating it. Swiss people consume the most chocolate in the world. About 12 kilograms a year, which is uh, just over 20 pounds a 20 year. 20 pounds a year? Yeah, so imagine like one bar a day. Okay, that sounds lovely, yeah. actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just chocolate is like um, part of your everyday life. It's part of the culture. It is definitely part of the culture, yeah. Now this is a way of life I could get used to. You ready to keep exploring? Let's go. Yeah, Let's go it. find more chocolate. Come on. Ready? Come on. Come on. <laughs> Hand on like you're feeding it. Oh, oh, look at that. What'd you get? A gold coin. I bet it's chocolate. Get for Elena. Let's have Elena do it, ready? Oh, ooh. <laughs> okay, you ready? Let's get up. Wait, let's get up. Oopsie, there you go. <gasps> What'd you get? Did you get something? Through the next set of doors, we are delighted to find a make-your-own chocolate bar station. That's a big chocolate for yeah. little girl. You want to do that? It's a lot. <laughs> but she looks very happy. Do you want to decorate it? Right. Thanks. We have um, coconut here. We have almond, hazelnut, blood orange, mango crisps. Oh, my goodness. Raspberries, everything like sweet and savory. What else do we have? Some caramel. Caramel. Jeez, and even great. some fruit. White chocolate, raspberries. Strawberries, oh, I pineapple. Think, I think they know what they want. Even the littlest chocolatiers can participate in this. I already why they have to put it on the conveyor belt and it's gonna take about five minutes to cool off. Five minutes? That's a long five minutes. <laughs> for a kid. Well, let's go check it out. Ready? All right. Come on. This is such a great souvenir. Yes, it is. It's the biggest chocolate bar the kids have ever had, that's for oh, sure. Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> and I'm hoping they're going to share with me. Are you going to share with me? There it goes. I'm guessing that's a yes. <laughs> here it goes, here it goes. Whee! Good yeah. job. <laughs> Definitely a great idea to do in Switzerland. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. It's part of the culture, and, and we love it, too. Which one's Elena's? There you wow, go. Look at, and look at this side. It's so big. Oh. oh, that's so pretty. Look at the other side. It's a beautiful city of Lucerne. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Did you turn it around, Eli? Look at it. Look at the other side. Okay. Did you check yeah, the bridge? Yeah, do like that side, right, Elena? Mm -hmm. This is Lucerne. Okay. You Mountain. made it. Oh, that was so great. That, that was, was fun. Awesome. Yeah. Did you have fun making chocolate bars, Eli? Yep. Oh, of course you did. We had an amazing and delicious time in Switzerland. We learned how to make and how to eat the local foods. We saw spectacular sights around town and from high on the glaciers. And we tried our hand at an adventure or two. Thanks for watching Family Travel. I'm Colleen Kelly. Enjoy making memories on your next family vacation.
Funding provided by... I am never getting married. Mm. We're never having kids. Mm -mm. Ah. We are never moving to the suburbs. We're never having another kid. I'm pregnant. I'm never letting go. For all the nevers in life, State Farm is there. Kids think travel's all about fun, but parents know it broadens horizons, introduces kids to new cultures, and makes lasting memories. And that's pretty awesome. Family travel equals family fun. City Pass. Resorts for the whole family. Holiday Inn Club Vacations. For more information on upcoming destinations and projects, visit FamilyTravelCK.com. Follow us on Twitter and find us on Facebook. We love to hear from you.